The Headlands was established in the late 1950s when Roger McCormick hired a helicopter and dropped 50 pound sacks of flour to mark the boundaries of a property in which he desired to purchase. The park contains approximately 550 acres of pristine woodlands, more than two miles of undeveloped Lake Michigan shoreline, and many species of rare and endangered plant life. Marked nature trails guide hikers, bicyclists, cross-country skiers, and nature photographers to experience the park throughout the changing seasons. For an easy walk through the property, you can stay on the main entrance drive, where every tenth of a mile you will find a planetary station that includes information from the cultural history of humanity related to the planets of our solar system, as well as the history and mythology of their discovery. Visitors to the headlands may experience sightings of many wild animals that are native to the area, including bald eagles, osprey, white-tailed deer, turkeys, coyotes, and even black bear. The headlands became one of the first 10 international dark sky parks in the world in 2011, a very prestigious designation bestowed by the International Dark Sky Association in Tucson, Arizona. You might ask, what does all that mean? It means the headlands will stay dark, free from light pollution, and protected forever. Let that sink in for a minute. Sixty-seven parking spots are available, and on non-program nights, the facility is open during gift shop hours. However, the 24-hour ADA restrooms, located on the shoreline side of the building, are open day and night, 365 days a year. Yeah, I can read the signs. You need to get away. This site, in part, was paid by the citizens who purchased the Michigan Recreation Passport when renewing their license plates. These funds are used to maintain state and local parks, trails, boat launches, campgrounds, historic sites, and other recreational opportunities. As a fellow Michigander who chooses to pay this optional once a year fee, I support this program 100%. There's an outdoor seating area that is located on the Lake Michigan side of the building and remains open to the public at all times. The green roof is planted with beautiful flora to add to the natural ambience and environmental sensitivity of the setting. The Headlands property is home to the rare and wonderful Dwarf Lake Iris, a flower that only grows in the Upper Great Lakes region, and five miles of well-groomed trails through the 600 acres of old growth forest. The trail network offers hours of inspiration among hardwoods and ferns in the summer months and spectacular snowshoe and cross-country skiing throughout the winter.
The Frog Pond Trail takes you through a mysterious cedar swamp and beside the scenic McCormick Pond, while the Overlook Trail at the park's north end leads you through deep woods and up a massive rock bluff where it's easy to imagine the power of ancient glaciers. The trails amount to over five miles of hiking through one of the area's only untouched old growth forest and two miles of lakeshore along the world's fifth largest body of freshwater. All on beautiful display by the light of day. The Headlands property is magnificent in every season and at every minute of the day. So please note, you don't have to wait until Starshine to enjoy what this park has to offer. You can enjoy the beauty of this park all day long. City of the Art Waterfront Event Center and Observatory at the Headlands opened in June of 2017. The facility includes rentable space both inside as well as outside the facility for private events and programs. A fully licensed kitchen and ADA restrooms are available, along with a stunning indoor-outdoor fireplace and a captivating open beam ceiling. Because of the headlands influence, the state of Michigan now protects the dark skies over an additional 30,000 acres of state-owned land, and the staff at the headlands work in partnership with the National Park Service on dark skies over their properties in the Great Lakes region. The gift shop provides worldly and truly out of this world gift items and memorabilia. So if your travels bring you through the Mackinac City area, make sure to visit the Headlands. Even if you don't plan on stargazing, the natural beauty of the site and the Lake Michigan sunsets are well worth going out of the way. And if you are one that enjoys letting yourself become lost staring at the stars, it might just be one little step closer to finding your freedom. So if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below. And don't forget, click that little subscribe button right here. And while you're at it, check out another one of these great videos. We'll see you out there.